Hello viewers and welcome to this video. In this video, we'll see one more theorem that is the second theorem in the study of permutation groups. So theorem 2. And here we prove that disjoint cycles commute. Disjoint cycles commute. So last time we proved uh, first theorem in the study of permutation group, groups and it was that every permutation of a finite set can be written as a cycle or as a product of these joint cycles, right? Now by now uh, you know how to, given a permutation, you know how to express, given a permutation of a finite set, you know how to express that or how to write that as a cycle or as a product of these joint cycles. So, in this theorem, we'll prove that disjoint cycles commute. So, let me state formally. So, if the pair of cycles, let us say alpha equals to A1, A2 and so on, AM, this is M cycle and beta equals to B1 b2 so on bn which is n cycle suppose that these two cycles have no entries in common that means they are disjoint have no entries in common then alpha beta equals beta alpha that means these two cycles commute okay so if you have two disjoint cycles, then they commute with each other. That means disjoint cycles commute. Let us see the proof. Proof is very simple. Let us suppose that okay, alpha and beta are uh, two permutations of the set S, which contains elements. Let us say. Okay, let me write. So, for definiteness, how how you pronounce this? Well, uh, <laughs> let me know whether my pronunciation is correct or not. Let us say that. Alpha and beta are permutations of the set. Suppose, uh, let us suppose that alpha and beta are permutations of the set S equals to, uh, let us say S contains A1, A2, so on, AM, B1 b2 so on bn and let us say c1 c2 so on ck suppose that here i am assuming that let us say up alpha and beta are permutations of this set s okay that means alpha is a permutation of S, beta is also a permutation of S, where S contains elements that are A1, A2, and so on, AM, B1, B2, and so on, BN, and C1, C2, and so on, CK. Okay, since in alpha, since alpha, I am assuming that alpha is a, a permutation of the set S, so in alpha, elements B1, B2, and so on, BN, and C1, C2, and so on, CK. Are not there means alpha fixes bi's as well as ci's clear yeah? similarly in beta this is a permutation on a set s so in beta there are no elements uh, that are in this uh, cycle because these two cycles are disjoint that is my assumption so therefore beta permutation beta fixes ai's as well as ci's because ci's are not in 
the permutation beta. Clear? Okay, so CIs, that is C1, C2, and so on, CK. No CIs are in alpha, no CIs are in beta. So CIs are the elements of S that are fixed by both alpha and beta. Means if you take alpha C1, that is going to give you C1. If you take alpha C2, that is going to give you C2 because CIs are not in alpha. Similarly, CIs are not in beta, so both of them fixes CIs. Clear? That is what we said, right? In fact, why we can say uh, that is that since alpha and beta, I am assuming to be permutation of the set S, which contains these many elements M plus N plus K many elements. Clear? Okay. Let me mention uh, what CIs are to avoid confusion. So, where, where are the CIs are the members of S are the members of S left fixed by both alpha and beta. That is what I said. So, left fixed by both alpha and beta okay since alpha since ci's are not in alpha as well as in beta that is the argument for that what i want to prove to show that what i want to show alpha beta you know how to compose two cycles if you are given any two cycles, let us say alpha and beta, you know how to compose them to produce a new cycle. Right? This is same as, I want to say that it is same as beta alpha. So in order to show that alpha beta equals to beta alpha, alpha is a permutation of S beta is a permutation of s so alpha beta is also a permutation of s similarly beta alpha is also a permutation of s that is clearly true so to show that alpha beta equals to beta alpha what you need to show that is you need to show that alpha beta x equals to beta alpha x for all x in s clear clear because alpha beta is also a permutation of s beta alpha is also a permutation of s so in order to show that alpha beta equals to beta alpha if you could show that alpha beta x means if you apply alpha beta to any arbitrary element let us say x of s that should be same as beta alpha applied to any arbitrary element of S. Okay. So far, so good. Fine. <laughs> okay, so let me write again the given thing. So, so what we are given? Okay, given that given alpha equals to a1 a2 the alpha is the cycle this one so that means alpha equals to this means what this means that a1 goes to a2 a2 goes to a3 a3 goes to a4 and so on am minus 1 goes to am and am goes back to a1 right so it forms a cycle right it forms a complete cycle if you draw kind of if you want to draw a picture like uh, i did in in one of my lectures then you can do that right a1 you start with a1 right here a2 and right here alpha a3 alpha under the permutation alpha a2 goes to a3 and so on you proceed like this and finally am a1 am goes to a1 so this is your complete cycle 
right okay <clears throat> And similarly, you are given beta. You are given beta, cycle beta, that is B1, B2, so on, Bn. And they are disjoint, right? That means they have no uh, element or no entry in common. And they don't have, and they don't have any common entry any common entry this is given to us right okay and uh, so so to, to show that alpha beta equals beta alpha oh, this is what we want to we need to show for all x in s so let us uh, let us deal with three cases instead of taking x to be any element of s since elements of s are ais bis cis so let us first take uh, x to be AI, ais one of the one of the elements ais and then try to so that alpha beta x equals to beta alpha x so you take clear what we are going to do you take x Okay, you take x to be ai's, one of ai's, x equals to ai, where 1 is less than equal, i less than equals to m. So you are taking, let me go back, you are taking x to be one of, in, in first case, you are taking x to be one of these elements from s. Okay, and trying to observe that alpha beta x equals to beta alpha x for this choice of x. So now you look at, alpha beta x we want to show that it is equal to exactly beta alpha x so alpha beta x alpha is a function beta is a function so alpha beta x you can write as alpha beta okay first of all i have taken x to be ai so let me write it as ai clear because x equals to ai that is my assumption here so you can write this as alpha beta ai clear Okay, now you look at what is beta ai. That is what we want to observe in this at this point. So, beta is a cycle containing these elements p1, b2, and so on, bn. And these two are disjoint cycles, means no entries are common, right? Alpha and beta are disjoint cycles, means they have no entries in common, right? Okay, so beta ai is same as ai why because ai is not here in beta and beta is a permutation of s so that means beta permutation beta fixes ai whatever i you take from 1 to m right 1 to m clear so beta ai is ai because ai is not here in beta so therefore it is understood that beta permutation beta fixes ai clear This is same as alpha beta ai is ai what is alpha ai alpha ai is exactly ai plus one why a1 a2 is alpha a1 right a2 is alpha a1 alpha a1 is a2 alpha a2 is a3 go on alpha ai would be ai plus 1 that i have written here and note that if you have taken ai to be am then alpha am would be of course am plus 1 but this is same as a1 clear okay so ai plus 1 is one of the elements uh, one of the entries in alpha okay so let me write here uh, why b beta ai is exactly equal to ai since ai is not in beta 
This implies that AI is fixed for beta. Clear? So we got that alpha beta x is AI plus 1. Let us now observe for this case beta alpha x whether and try to see whether they are same or not. So beta alpha x is nothing but beta alpha. In this case, x I have taken to be ai. So you write ai. You this is same as beta alpha ai. Clear? This is same as what is alpha ai? Well, alpha ai is clearly ai plus one. So this is beta ai plus one. But again. AI plus 1 is not in beta because AI plus 1 is an element of AI plus 1 is an element of alpha. Clear for this choice of I, AI plus 1 is an element of AI plus 1 is an is an entry of the cycle alpha. So therefore beta and alpha since they are disjoint, so beta fixes AI plus 1. So this is AI plus 1. So the proper uh, argument for this is since ai plus 1 is not in beta implies ai plus 1 is fixed for beta. What we got? We got that so for x equals to ai where 1 less than equal i less than equal m alpha beta x equals beta alpha x. So for x equals to ai, uh, the two cycles that, that are alpha and beta, okay, if I say two cycles, don't, I am not uh, referring that alpha is two cycle, means two elements are there in alpha. I am saying that these are two cycles. This is one cycle, this is second, another cycle, okay. So maybe uh, with, the, with the terminology, you, you may get confused, but but uh, try to understand from the context. Clear? So for x equals to ai, of course we got that two cycles uh, commune. But I have uh, some more elements in s. bi's are also there and ci's are also there. Right? So I have to do, in order to show that uh, for any x in s, I have to show that for x, if you take any x uh, which is a bi, in the range 1 less than equal i less than n less than equal n then you have to show that again the two cycles come in and then for ci is also so uh, so it implies that alpha beta for the choice of a for this choice of x alpha beta equals beta alpha clear okay now let us take uh, in case 2 x equals to bi in case 2 we take let us suppose x equals to bi where 1 less than equal i less than equal n okay then you look at alpha beta x this is same as alpha beta bi proof is very simple as i already said so this is same as alpha beta bi okay so bi is there in uh, the cycle of cycle there in cycle notation of permutation beta. So beta bi is exactly bi plus one. Clear? And this is same as again alpha bi plus one. Bi plus one is not there in uh, in the cycle notation of alpha. So therefore alpha fixes bi plus one. So this is same as bi plus one. Clear? By the same argument, you you can say that since bi plus 1 is not in uh, alpha implies alpha bi plus 1 equals bi plus 1. Clear? Similarly, you observe now beta alpha x. This is same as you can write beta alpha x in place of x you can write bi. This is same as beta alpha bi alpha bi is again bi right because bi is not in alpha so alpha fixes bi this is beta bi and beta bi is clearly bi bi plus 1 
So it is very clear that alpha beta x equals to beta alpha x for this choice of x. Okay? This implies that alpha beta x equals beta alpha x or x uh, equals to bi where 1 less than equal i is less than equal n. This implies that alpha beta equals beta alpha for this choice of x okay now the last case is uh, we are left with case 3 where uh, let us assume that x is one of the ci's okay because ci's are also there in s for if you take any element uh, means if you take any element uh, among among these uh, m elements from s of course two cycles commute Recently, we proved uh, the same for any elements uh, from this uh, among all among these n elements. If you combine two, then if you take any two element any element from uh, this uh, the the m plus n elements, or if you take any ais or bis, two cycles commute. We are left with the third one in order to show that two cycles commute for any element in S. So let us take case 3. If x equals ci, then again you observe alpha beta x. This would be alpha beta ci. This would be alpha beta ci. This is same as alpha since ci is not in beta. So therefore beta fixes ci. So it will be alpha ci. And alpha ci is same as again ci because ci is not in beta alpha so alpha fixes ci similarly you look at uh, beta alpha x beta alpha x is same as beta alpha ci this is same as beta alpha ci beta since uh, this if you look at this element ci is not in alpha so alpha fixes ci so it will have you will have ci alpha ci equals to ci and beta is not in ci is not in beta so beta fixes ci so it will it will be same as ci so clearly what we got recently is that alpha beta x equals beta alpha x for this choice of x so alpha beta x equals beta alpha x for x equals to ci where uh, again you just mentioned what i is i'm not going to do that this implies that alpha beta equals to beta for this choice of x. So if you combine case 1, case 2 and case 3, then from case 1, case 2 and case 3, we can conclude that alpha beta equals beta alpha for all choice of x in okay beta alpha okay let me write like this alpha beta x equals beta alpha x for all choice of x in s this implies that alpha beta equals to beta alpha clear this completes the proof okay proof is very simple now once we prove this then uh, given any two cycles which are disjoined Okay, they always commute with each other. So disjoint cycles commute, right? The proof is clear. Okay, with this, I want to stop.